Hello everyone, quick update. A lot of my games have planets that have weather systems, but there's really no good way, no good library for showing clouds in the way I need to show them. There are some good libraries if all you need to do is give the impression of clouds, but what I need is I need something where you can zoom in and land, and as you pass through the clouds you get wet, and there's rain and snow and whatever else. So I needed something that was significantly better than, uh, or not significantly better, but significantly focused on something different than the standard packages I could find about clouds. So I built this one, and it works exactly the same as a as we build the terrain. It uses a 3D noise field, and the way it builds clouds is the same way. You, you go through the noise fields, you combine a couple of different measurements, and you get clouds. The best thing about this is that it's particle effects driven, so as you go in, you can fluidly stop looking for particles on the parts of the planet you can't see uh, and look for more particles uh, in the places you can see. So if we were to zoom in, and I haven't built this part yet, but if we were to zoom in here, this would become a much more clearer set of clouds, and over there you'd get, uh, you know, on the other side of the planet you wouldn't bother to measure, um, which would increase your frame rate considerably. Uh, now this is definitely a first pass um, and in fact, the the seemingly low frame rate that you're seeing is actually me trying to do an asynchronous update system um, and not quite succeeding. So that low frame rate is not because the machine is taxed. That low frame rate is because I, I set the frame rate to be 8 on purpose to try and get this asynchronicity stuff working, and it didn't work out yet. But the point is the same. Um, because this is something which is set in terms of, uh, it's, it's something that's while it's random, it's powered by a seed. So you can always get the same values if you calculate, if you ask it with the same seed and the same time offset. So if you were, if you and a friend both came to the same planet and you landed at the same time, you would see the exact same weather. And if you both time traveled a thousand years into the future, you'd both see the same weather. And that's important to me. Now, right now, it doesn't actually simulate weather. It's just creating cloud cover that can be used to create weather. Um, there's no such thing as a hurricane or anything like that. Uh, I don't really plan to do any of that stuff, just because it doesn't add enough to the game to be worth it. All I need is for the basics. I need it to look like clouds and form weather. I don't need it to be accurate. Anyhow, it sounds like there's shouting starting, so I guess that's it.